What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am Tesla Kayla. If you didn't know, now you do know. And this week's video is how I created this look over here. There are quite a bit of mishaps that happen during the video, but that is the thing with makeup. You make a mistake and then you will blend it up. Um, before I continue rambling too much, let us just get on with the video. Okay, so I have prepped my face with my moisturizer, my sunblock, and my primer. For primer, I use the Yardley London Color Correcting Primer. So it's got a pink color, pink hue to it. So that's like the universal color correcting for like every color. So I like that. It mattifies my skin, fills my pores. And then for foundation, I am going to be using the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. I am in the shade 10, and guys, this packaging is just so cute. Look at the back of this. I love it. Um, it's a very, it's a sheer to medium coverage foundation, but, you know, foldable, so I make it work. And it really does, like, blur your face out. Hopefully, you'll be able to see this. Let's get this out. It's a little bit messy to get out. My brushes are the Switch Beauty... I'm just gonna go in guys I have zero technique so I'm just gonna put this on my face and then blend it all out Okay, so I got foundation on my lips and now after that I'm going to go in with my concealer. I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Warm Honey. Is this focusing? Hope so. I actually just love concealer. So I just go in with like a little triangular shape underneath my eye. And then I will blend all of that out. And then I also like to just go around my mouth area just to brighten that up. You know, highlight certain points of the face. Um, the next thing is just to set all of this. Oh, I don't think I said, but you probably would have seen in previous videos, I use the Vitamin E Face Mist. Vitamin E Hydrating Face Mist by The Body Shop. Let's just quote that. Once that has like settled into my face, I'm going to go in with the Essence of Brighten Up Banana Powder. I don't think my face has dried yet. So I tend to just bake the cake out of my face. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and do that. The first areas that I go and like start baking are underneath my eye and then around my mouth. But also around my nose because I don't want that to move. I don't want makeup to move and because I tend to smile and laugh so much for no reason most of the time. Um, I just like to make sure that I bake here so the foundation doesn't actually sit into my crease lines. I have let this um, powdered donut of a face bake and now I am just going to dust all of this off. Okay, so I like doing my makeup from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows first. This look is a very pink look and you are going to see how I get that in a minute. So 
So I'm actually about to go and do my groceries. So, um. Try and do my eyebrows as quick as possible. It's so weird when you look at like one eyebrow that's filled and one eyebrow that isn't. This is my harder eyebrow to fill because it is so sparse in the front. And then I'm just going to brush them out with an old spoolie. I always feel like this eyebrow comes out much better than this eyebrow, but you know what? Eyebrows are sisters and not twins. I think that's what they say. Okay, so for eyeshadow, this is where the pink starts to come into the look. Um, I'm going to go in with the NYX Lid Lingerie palette. Um, I'm just going to take this blunt orange shade that is in the palette, which I can't open, which I opened. So I'm just going to take this burnt orange shade over here and go in to my crease with that. And because I'm really bad at like eyeshadow and eyeshadow brushes, for the rest of the look, I'm just going to be using my fingers. So to get to the pink look, I'm going to be using the Unicorn Source Palette from Switch Beauty. Okay, I can't open anything today. So I'm going to go in with, firstly, I'm just like mixing the red and orange shades. So these two shades right here. I know I said pink, but then this is what happens. So I just get a little bit of the red and orange on one finger or two fingers as I just did. And then I just go in onto my eyelid. Eyelid? My eyelid. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a lot of cleaning up. And that is basically the color. Literally, I feel like there's always just one eye that comes out so much better than the other. As you can tell, it's always this eye. So yeah, that's kind of all that I really do. Take a little bit more orange. Okay, and then I'm just going to clean the eyelid up. In a second. Wow, this looks a mess. Hold on. So, I'm gonna go in with my concealer and just tap, 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 tap. Why do I film makeup videos when I'm so bad at makeup? Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, and then I am going to go in with the NYX Lid Lingerie Palette in this brown over here. And then I just take it again with my finger and I just run it along my lower lash line. And then to give the look actually something pink about it, I go in with this shimmery, bright, pretty pink color in the unicorn sauce palette wow look at my hands but it's fine i'll just wash it before i leave so i just go onto the inner eyelid like halfway through and just put that in and that is the eyes basically done i'm gonna just clean up my face once again any full art 
probably should do eyeshadow first, but I just don't have that technical expertise to do so. Next, I'm just going to curl my lashes. And for mascara, I'm actually going to be using quite a sparkly one. Because why not? So I'm going to be using the Mina Spectral Mascara, which is quite glittery. But it's also really, really nice mascara. I actually hated pink. Um, well, I, there was a stage where I loved it, but then once I hit like 13, I was like, ew, pink, that's such a gross color. And now it is back to being one of my favorite colors ever. I went through this phase, I was like, oh my gosh, black is the only color that exists. I wouldn't call it like goth or emo, but I mean, I was kind of goth. Or emo and that is the eye look done for blush I'm also just going to be using a shade from this unicorn sauce palette so I think I'm just gonna go into these two pink well one pink one orangey shade right here Next is highlighter, and then for highlighter, obviously, going in with my Essence Hollow Stick, which is pink, because, you know, who doesn't want pink highlighter? And I just like this because it's just a stick that you just literally rub all over your face, and voila! Highlighter! And I just rub it on my nose a little because I don't want it to just look like a straight line coming down. Though I think I just rubbed red all over my nose. It's fine. And the last thing is my lip gloss or lipstick. I am using Souffle by Colourpop. And that is the final look guys. I hope that you liked this video and found my terrible methods of putting makeup on entertaining. Um, the last thing, just to set everything in place and make it all blend together, is spray your face. Trying to be cool, probably failing. Um, so this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and subscribe to my channel. Um, see you guys next week. I'll be back. <laughs>